data mesh is the approach, the strategy, the feeding into the architecture. Data fabric is the technology that makes it all run. Now, sometimes we talk about data mesh as being technology or a platform, but it really is architecture because what you're doing is you're taking the domain expertise through domain ownership, which is decentralized. So pulling that tribal knowledge, you know, and, and tapping into it. And what that starts to do is help you understand what are we going to do with the data? Where's the value? Um, you're doing that through um, self-service because you've enabled through capabilities to, to make that possible. So you, you could run the spec spectrum on technical and data expertise. Um, but you have to have this govern. Now, governance is also tribal knowledge because you know how and why you're going to use the data. Um, we talk about governance as code because you want to apply those controls where they're most meaningful rather than just, you know, way back in my database environment, as I talked about earlier. And then lastly, and my favorite piece of this is data as a product or data products, because really what you're doing is you're not just saying, oh, I need to do this connector, I have to do this ETL job, or I got a pipeline going over there, or that's, you know, that's my database source or whatnot. It's this compilation of data components and assets that really is defined by value. And, you know, that value indicates what types and how those types of capabilities are going to be applied. And that's when what comes out of data mesh translates into the data engineer going, now, what, what do you want me to build? Do you want me to build a data mesh? What does that mean? It's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. You've got the tools or you've got emerging technologies, take advantage of that. But that's really where data mesh comes in. And so these concepts that I talked about earlier about connected intelligence, defining your value, and then looking at the patterns of how we work is those are patterns because those are decentralized operating models today. It's not centralized organizations. So that's where data mesh fits into a lot of the concepts that we were talking about just now.